In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to get your DAW, DAW or Digital Audio Workstation working with your new Antelope audio interface. This time, we're looking at Avid's Pro Tools, which some might call the industry standard. This is not going to be a getting started with Pro Tools video. There are plenty of sites online that can help you with that. In this video, we're going to be looking at configuring your new interface, in this case, the new Antelope Orion Studio Synergy Core, to work alongside Pro Tools. Then we're going to set up the Antelope Audio software control panel to allow basic, single and multi-track recording. The first thing to do is to tell Pro Tools which interface it is we wish to use. Go to the Setup menu, Playback Engine, and in the Playback Engine drop-down menu, select the Orion Studio 3. If the desired interface is not listed, please refer back to the first videos in this series for help installing and connecting your new interface. If you have a session open, Pro Tools will prompt you with a restart message. Click Yes and allow Pro Tools to restart and reload the session. If you do not have a session open, you can now create one. The playback engine is also where we keep control of our hardware buffer size. As a general rule, use a smaller buffer when tracking and a larger buffer when mixing. Your new Antelope interface will automatically recognize the sample rate you have selected for the new session and switch to match it. You can check this by going to the Orion Studio Synergy Core control panel to check that the sample rates match. The next important setting to check is the clock source. In a basic, single interface setup, always choose Oven. This is the name given to the internal clock for most Antelope Audio devices, with the exception of the discrete range where it's called Internal. In more complex setups where you have other external digital and analog gear being used, you may wish to change the clock master source. This is done from the control panel. However, it is essential that a solid clock source with a single clock master is provided. If you find you are getting clicks and pops in your audio, it is more than likely that there is a digital clocking issue that needs to be resolved, as these clicks and pops will make their way into your recordings. It's worth noting that in this tutorial, the interface is connected to the computer via Thunderbolt. Most of the Antelope Audio range of interfaces also offer USB connectivity. When connected via USB, the clock source icon will display USB. However, the unit will still be using the internal Antelope clocking system. Using the USB connection also locks the sample rate and clock source of the audio interface to that specified by the DAW. A Thunderbolt connection allows manual adjustment of both the sample rate and clock source in the control panel. However, until you're a little more experienced, we advise you let the DAW set these up for you. The next thing to check is that the I.O. and routing from the Antelope control panel matches the routing and labeling inside Pro Tools. Go to Setup, then to I.O. In the Input tab, select All or Command or Control A, then hit Delete and then hit Default. Do the same for the Output, Bus and Insert tabs. This will make sure that any I.O. from your interface lines up with what Pro Tools is expecting to see, or rather hear. Now we can create a new session in Pro Tools, plug in a couple of microphones and hit record, right? Not so fast. We also need to make sure that the I.O. of our interface is configured for the job we wish to do. In this example, we are going to set up all the mic pre's from the Orion Studio Synergy Core, all 12 of them, to route to the first 12 inputs of Pro Tools. Think of this as the first step in learning to route signals into and out of your DAW from your new interface. In the Orion Studio Synergy Core control panel, select all 12 preamp nodes in the input section and drag them down to line up with computer record channels 1 through 12. Computer record is another name for your DAW input in the Antelope routing matrix. Let's also make sure that computer play 1 and 2 is routed to our main monitor outputs and to our headphones. Think of computer play as the DAW output. This now means that anything set to record on channels 1 through 12 on Pro Tools will be recorded from the corresponding channels 1 through 12 on the interface. Also, anything routed to play back from outputs 1 and 2 will be routed to the main monitor outputs and to both headphone outputs. Mm -hmm. 